Hi, I'm Stuart Pfeffer, co-founder and CEO of Reality AI, and today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the kind of thing you can do using our technology along with a accelerometer or vibration sensor. Uh, and today for our sensor we are using the Bosch XDK, and we're using the accelerometer on this, uh, on this box to, at the moment, identify what I'm doing while I move around. As you can see on the screen over here, um, at the moment we're using it as if it's part of a wearable. And as I move my arms, it's identifying what I'm doing. Uh, if I move my arms around a lot like this, it figures I'm presenting. If I stand here quietly, it will decide that I'm standing. And if I start walking around, we'll switch to walking. We even put in a jumping jacks detector. Okay. Um, now, that's certainly one use case for Reality AI, using accelerometry for human activity identification. And we are working with a number of customers to do that right now. The other way we're using our tools is um, on machines for predictive maintenance and machine health. So I'm gonna take the same sensor and I'm just gonna put it right here next to our stand-in for a piece of rotating equipment, a small fan. When I turn on the fan, it's going to shift to off speed. And when it's, the fan is fully up to speed, it'll just say that it's attached to a blower that's on. Now, I can also block the input. And it's going to detect that the input is blocked. Finally, if I turn off the fan and I insert this small piece of cardboard and I create a little imbalance condition inside the fan. Once again, it'll say that it's off speed and then detect that it's unbalanced. So what you've seen here is we've detected number one, what kind of thing am I attached to? A human being, something stable, or something vibrating like a fan. Where on the efficiency curve for that fan are we at this particular moment? And we're also detecting dynamic load changes like an imbalance. Okay, now let me show you how you actually create a classifier to do this using our tools. Here's the software you'll use when you work with Reality AI. Like any machine learning application, it learns by example. So for the purposes of this demo, we recorded the fan operating for about two minutes in each of the several conditions that we wanted to be able to detect. Here's an example of vibrations recorded when the fan was operating normally. And here are some examples of vibrations recorded when the fan was operating with the input blocked. Once your data is loaded, it's as easy as picking a base tool configured with our help, selecting the data you want to train against, and hitting the train button. You'll also get a complete set of validation statistics, tools for helping you continually improve your classifier, and options for deploying either to the cloud or to your embedded target. Thank you. We look forward to working with you.